Hey everyone, this is Gleb, and today I want to finish this recipe that has lots of examples showing how to confirm that the list has three elements, or a number of elements following a rule, or the list is loaded dynamically. Now today I want to concentrate on a use case where you're trying to load the list, let's say after one second or some unknown amount of time. And usually the list has three elements when it's loaded successfully. But imagine sometimes the server returns nothing and you show nothing found. How would you check that case? You want to check that either nothing is found is displayed or the list has three items. So let's break this problem apart. Let's run the test while we're updating it. So end-to-end -end testing, electron, number of elements. Okay, now we're just running this test. So nothing found. If we rerun, then we can get uh, in half cases, nothing found or three elements. Okay, so first we want to split and confirm that either nothing is found or three I of three or li elements are found. So it's easier to actually find it the other way. We're going to say, okay, fruits li. Now this will match the first case. What about nothing found? Well, here's where we can use CSS selector comma. In this case, it will match the first selector or the second selector. And the second selector, look, what will it do? Well, it's the same element, but we can use CSS selector contains. And then we can specify the text inside the element, nothing found. Okay, nothing found matched. And if we get the case with three elements, like right here, then three li elements are matched. Well, it's not enough to just match li elements. We want to confirm that if it's this case, li elements are found, then we want to confirm that there are three of them. So here's what we can do. We know that either li elements or the text nothing found appears. So we can pass this jQuery object to site then block and we can verify it further. And the way we can distinguish, because this can either get li elements or nothing found case, we can say if, and now this is jQuery, so it has a method called is. And now we can say, okay, if this is this case, if it matches this selector, then we expect this jQuery object to have length three. Okay, this is this assertion, expect. And we can add the comment, three items. Okay, nothing found, just does nothing. And three elements expected to have three items. Okay, great. I'm not particularly happy about this because we use CSS contains and even though it works, it requires the exact text match, which maybe you know part of a text. Maybe you want to use regular expression instead. So what I prefer to do instead is to add some kind of attribute to the element. So let me move to the next example right here. It's exactly the same, but only instead of just putting nothing there, we create an element and we give it a data psi attribute zero state. Okay, so how would we use that? We can say, okay, you find either li elements or roots with data psi zero state attribute. Okay, I think this is correct. Okay, we found three elements. Otherwise, we find the zero state. And the zero state is in else branch, or we can verify it again. But in this case, we are inside the zero state, and we expect this element, so zero state is our message, to, let's say, include text. So we can check part of the text inside this element. Okay, three items. Otherwise, if we find nothing there, it contains the text nothing. So this is how I would verify that an element contains one of two um, elements matching one selector or the other. And then I can verify it further by checking which case we actually matched and then add more assertions to verify that particular case. For more examples, check out myglebachmutov.com. 
slash Cypress example site.